Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and to the The Sims 4 But Every Color is a Different Room challenge. If you're not familiar with this challenge, you probably already know of the Sims 4 But Every Room is a Different Color challenge, and it's kind of just the inverse of that. I base this house on a house I know in real life, and I know what each room is supposed to be, but I've assigned it each a color and I'm going to let a wheel decide what room that's going to be now. So instead of saying, oh, this is the living room, let's spin and see what color it's going to be. I'm going to say this is the white room, let's spin and see what white is going to be. And of course it has to be decorated all the same color. But let's start in the red room here. I know this is supposed to be like a sunroom, sort of a hobby room, but what's the wheel gonna say? The wheel says office, which is actually delightful. So I'm just going to start by filtering by red, and let's see what office furniture we can find. I feel like red is a really intense color, so I'm gonna bring in a little bit of something else with this rug. And these plants. They're slated as red in here, so they count. We should probably also have a bookshelf. I do like this one. I just think it's fun. I'm not going to add too many skill items because I do have hobby as a separate room option as well. But I think we should add some more plants. Some shoes by the door, I think. Ooh, how about a mirror? Hmm, maybe not. Adding some curtains here. And before I forget, we should probably add some lights. I do like this one from Tiny Living. Whoops, we don't need two. And we'll add a hanging light over here. All right, I think that's our office. Next up, white. It's a bedroom. Well, this is definitely a great size for a bedroom, but it doesn't give us much privacy. It is pretty big, so we could do like a kid's room and have a bunch of toys and stuff. That might be the way to go don't have a ton of options for white toys, so I guess I'll just use them all. I don't know why this counts as white, but I won't argue. This actually isn't doing too bad. I mean, I definitely wouldn't, like, want this to be my room. It's kind of out in the open there. But all things considered, it's not bad. A little disappointed in my lighting choices. I thought for white there would be more. There's a white kid's room. I think I've got a decent number of toys and activities in there. The shape of the room is a little weird. Oh well. What's for black? Another bedroom. Alrighty then. I can't even put a bed here because it gets in the way of the door. I think I might put it here and then grab a little desk and a little chair. We do have a couple of toys that count. There we go. The dog is a mad scientist. Wow, there is really not... I mean, it makes sense, but there is not a lot of black, uh... There are not a lot of black options for decorating a children's room. This seems appropriate. I forgot a dresser. Oh, do these count? Oh, but they have to hang. Hmm. Okay, this might actually work then. Grab some lights. Honestly, I think I'll just grab this one. And one for the science corner, of course. Alright, that's what I've got for the black bedroom. I need to make sure traffic can still flow through here, so that's... That's about it. Let's do purple next. Oh my gosh, it's another bedroom. Maybe I should have randomized the uh, stuff a little bit more. What do we have for beds? This one's also gonna have to be a single bed, like there is no way a double bed's fitting in here. And I think it's gonna have to go right here. Can we do a bunk bed? Do we have a purple bunk bed? We do. We have this one. Or that one. Because this way we should be able to put a dresser underneath. Okay. And a mirror over here. Assuming we have the stuff in the colors for all this. Some plants for this poor kid. We actually have toys. Oh, that's impressive. So let's put a couple of toys up on the dresser. And a little hobby desk over here. That's actually really cute. I'm not seeing much else here. Lots of rug options, though. Maybe I can add one more light over here. Okay, I don't know why all the kids are getting... I guess I could have made one of these a parents' room. It would have had been this one, though. We should have one bedroom left, so that'll have to be, like, a grown-up's bedroom. I was kind of holding out for one of the actual bedrooms, but... Yeah, I think we'll do orange next. This is supposed to be a kitchen, but we'll see what happens. If it's another bedroom, I'm spinning again. A laundry room. You know what, I'm just gonna grab the laundry day pack and go to show all so we can see. Oh gosh. So say so we can see what we're working with, which is not a lot. All right, well, I think I'd like to add some counters. And a sink? We can do a sink. Okay, that's cool. 
And then, what else would go in a laundry room? Some shelves, maybe? The only other thing I can really think of is a folding table. Our light options are kind of limited. Ah... Uh, no. I really don't know what else to do for a laundry room this big, especially since we don't actually have any of the, like, laundry decoration stuff. So that's what I've got for orange. I'm going to do pink next, just so we have the most possible options left. Also, we don't have a bathroom on this floor yet. Awesome. Okay, we do get a bathroom. Time to find out what pink bathroom stuff we have. Oh, we do have a shub tower combo. That's nice. And do we have a toilet? We do. Oh, we have like a fully pink one. Nice pink sink. Oh, this is, this is easy. Pink must be a popular color. Why is this on the ground? It seems like a really short mirror to be on the ground. Does it like sit on a table or something? Nope. Okay. No pink toilet paper. Understandable, but we can do a little, do a little pink towel. Should have some rug options. And a light. There's a pink bathroom. Not very exciting, but we do have a bathroom. At least one full functional bathroom. So I'm happy with that. Let's finish off with the yellow room here, and then we'll get to move upstairs. Alright, so this will be the hobby room, which means the kitchen and dining room will both be upstairs. Kind of unconventional, but not completely unheard of. What is unconventional is all three main walkthrough spaces being bedrooms. Alright, what yellow activities and skills do we have? We have dancing. We could just make a dance room. I'm not close to that possibility. Okay, the bean is joining us. <sighs> just gonna save real fast as insurance. I'm surprised that we don't have the yellow keyboard option. But the guitar will do. All right, so I think we need some musical art on the wall. We've got this. Doesn't fit the theme of the room at all, but I think we've all given up on that at this point. I think this is pretty cool. It's more art than music, but we can throw an easel down. Maybe. Okie dokie. Never mind. No easels allowed. There's a giant head in my way, and I can only see about half the screen at a time. That's... We're singing and dancing. That's what I've got for hobbies. That's our hobby. Moving up, I guess we'll start with the landing here with brown. And it's a bathroom. Of course. Alright, let's see what brown bathroom options we have. Oh, actually a lot, because I guess it covers beige. Um, lots of doors over on this side. Because somebody thought they were going to put a bathroom here. So I guess this area is our only option for a bathtub. We should go with this one. And we'll add a little shower right here as well, because that makes total sense. And since I'm thinking of it now, let's... Let's add some tile, at least over here. All right, and then we need a toilet and a sink still. I guess I could put the toilet right at the top of the stairs. That seems like a really good view. Unless we could fit a... Yeah, there's no way. Okay. This may be an awful position for a toilet, but you do get toilet paper in this bathroom, which is something. Um, and then I should be able to put a sink over here, no problem. You know what would really bring this space together? A plant. Right there. Delightful. Well, let's do green. Oh, a kitchen. Delightful. Little man is trying to use the touch screen that doesn't exist to move furniture around, so we could all be thankful for a not uh, touch screen right now. I mean, I'm sure he'd do great, and once he figures out how a mouse works, we will totally have that challenge. Okay, do we have counters? We do have counters. We even have kitchen counters. Kitchen counters, that's not what I meant. I meant the country ones. We could do a nice little green country kitchen, because somehow that seems suitable. I'd like to add a little table and chair over here, because this is totally the kitchen you'd want to be hanging out in. Ooh, we should do some cabinets. Are you helping, buddy? Okay. We even have a green range hood, so clearly we have to use that. I think those walls and floor are totally fabulous. Really, I think we just need some art and a rug, and this place is... <laughs> Honestly, it's better than I kind of expected once I saw the challenge was going. Perfect. Ooh, a trash can. Almost forgot a trash can. Honey. We have options. Honey. Okay, so this should be a totally functional kitchen. It's not even that bad. Kind of impressed. Okay, the living room. Delightful. Let's see what purple options we have for living room furniture. So we'll start on the end. Banana. Bananas. We Lemon. should be able to. Lemon. Oh, I started wrong. I might try to switch out the walls and floor for a softer purple that matches a little better. What did I say I was doing? Flooring. Do we have other options? Uh, not really. I mean, I could switch. Wait, was this supposed to be purple? Hang on. I already did purple. Oh my gosh. I just did this the whole wrong thing. This was supposed to be like indigo. Uh, well, it's still going to be the living room. 
So we just have to go with deep blue. Switch this out. Yeah, I wanted this to be like a deeper blue and this one to be brighter. Ugh, gosh. All right, well, fine. Do we have a television now? Oh, we have, we do. All right, and do we have the same couch options? <laughs> we do. Okay, so I should, should be able to do pretty much the same thing then. I need to remember my color options better. Do I have a tiny table I can put there? Nifty. Ah, yep, this makes lots and lots of sense. Yeah, I don't know why I thought that'd be any better. We'll just add plants and pretend all of our problems will go away. Got some music though, so that's worth something. If you have any opinions on a good microphone, let me know. Because I have a soft voice, as you may have noticed. It's not particularly like feminine and light, but it is quite soft and it's difficult for things to like get picked up properly. So I've been thinking about getting a new mic, but I'd like to know that it would actually work before I invest too much. For the time being, that's what I've got for an indigo living room. Kind of disappointed. I think this one's actually my least favorite of all of them, which is saying a lot. All right, we have two options left. I'm going to go with blue first, so we have a higher chance of... Ah, oh, rats. I guess these are both going to suck, because we have either, like, an adult bedroom... <laughs> oh, gosh. Which would technically fit in here, now that the scooching is fixed. And a dining room. Both terrible options. Delightful. I think if I could have gone through and picked the worst options for the bedrooms, I would have picked pretty much exactly what we ended up with. Huzzah! Alright, so now we just need- this one's gonna be super quick. We just need a nice bright bed, and a cute little dresser, a light, a rug, and I guess maybe some art? Alright, that's- that's blue. That's what I've got. Even with scooch and stuff around, I don't think I could do much more, so... Let's move on! Dining room. Black dining room. No, gray. Gray dining room. I'm not gonna get it mixed up again. I should have started with putting lights everywhere so I could actually see the colors. Okay, well, we're having a lot of options. We don't have a ton of stuff. I feel like we need a long table because we have a pretty big family and it's a huge room. I think a good rug is going to make or break this one. It's this mommy. brings in some green. Oh, gray and green aren't it's usually mommy. like my go-to combo. Or we could do orange. I'm going to see if we can save our last room by bringing in some orange and red. Risky, but remember if it counts as a gray squatch, no. If it's a gray swatch, <laughs> oh gosh. Or should I go with the green? You know what? I'm going with the green because then I can add these prints. Put this here with a little something like this. Maybe get a mirror. A little bit of asymmetry going on this side. And can we get a curtain? Alright, I think that's what I'm gonna do for the gray dining room. Our house is complete. I think next time I'll do a smaller house so that I can do the outside too. If you guys want to see it next time, that is. If you enjoyed this, you'll probably enjoy these. Thanks so much for hanging out with us today. I hope you have a great rest of your day, an excellent week, and I look forward to seeing you back here very, very soon. Bye!